Argosy, a college in Atlanta is officially closed. Yeah, and right now its students are scrambling to figure out exactly what to do next. CBS 46's Brittany Miller joins us live with exclusive video from inside the school's hectic final hours. Brittany. That's right. Tonight we saw people waiting patiently inside. Some students saying they waited an hour just to get their transcripts. So certainly they are frustrated. They are irritated. One of them telling me tonight they are ready to take legal action. Hundreds of students left scrambling. I don't know where to start. I mean, blindsided. All because Argosy University closed 16 of its campuses across the country, including this one in Atlanta. I was three weeks away from my last class. Senior Mary Jane Broyles spent three years earning a master's in forensic psychology. She feels her hard work was for nothing. The money, yes, is an issue, but I mean, it's my education too. I've worked really hard at this. So she's retained an attorney and is considering legal action. The Argosy University and its associated entities took money from the government, both in the manner of FAFSA loans for student loans and from uh, GI Bill loans, and they have not used that properly. They've used that to pay their management and they've used that in some other way that we do not know at this point. The U.S. Department of Education says Argosy failed to pay credit balance refunds owed to its students. The school went under federal receivership in January. In February, the government cut off financial aid to the university. What am I going to do? Freshman Nikila Worthy says she got this email today, telling her the school was closed, so she went down to the campus. I've only been here like for a couple of hours, and people have been here since this morning, and it's people walking out because they're not getting their transcript. It's frustrating. This is cell phone video of students waiting and wondering. It's a thousand and some dollar refund that I'm supposed to be getting, and I haven't got it, and I'm not the only person that hasn't got their refund yet. So again, a lot of students very upset about this, as you may expect. We did get a statement tonight from the court appointed receiver for Argosy. Take a look on your screens right now. It says, quote, Argosy University Atlanta has closed. It goes on to say we are extremely disappointed with this outcome, but continue to provide services to students to help them transition. I'll send it back to you guys. Brittany, so many students really left in limbo after today. So if you're a student, if this is impacting you, what should you do? So we do have some tips and resources for students right on our CBS 46 app. I have reached out to the University of Georgia system or University System of Georgia to see what they're going to do to assist students and help them out in this very tough situation. But uh, this is going to be a, a story that we follow for some weeks. I'll yeah, send it back to you guys. Unfortunately, it doesn't sound like a simple process. Brittany Miller will stay on top of it. Thank you. We'll see you at 11. All new tonight.